Hello fellow human beings, today I just want to give a quick tutorial on how you can get this cool reflection effect. There's no fancy 3D effects involved, it's all simple nodes in the fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. Okay, without wasting any more of your time, let's transition to the unnecessary top angle keyboard shot for the tutorial. Okay, hello and welcome to the angle that we don't need. Okay, so as you can see, I have my shot here. Um, and as you can see, there's nothing in the background. And the reason why is because I shot it with a black backdrop and I got rid of any indication that there was a background with color grading. You don't need a black backdrop. You could just have any, uh, any old shot. And if you want to have them in a black void, you could just cut them out. But I just shot it in a black backdrop because this is the whole kind of look I was going for. So you will take this shot and you'll go down here into the fusion page. Okay, so now that you're in the fusion page, the first thing I want to get rid of is, I don't know if you can see the spill here uh, from the, this light. It's on the floor of the, it's on the floor of the room that I shot in. So I want to get rid of it. So you want to go up here to the mask section and I'm going to choose a polygon node. And this basically allows you to draw a mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw a quick garbage mask. And I'm going to connect it to the footage. As you can see, there's a checker underlay to showcase that there's nothing behind here. I don't like that. I want to see how it's going to actually look. So I'm going to get rid of that. And as you can see now, it's a black void. And then the next thing is I want to make room for the actual reflections. I'm going to click on the media. I'm going to shift spacebar and I'm going to go to transform. Click on this one. And I'm just going to drag this up and just zoom out a bit. Drag this up. Okay, I think that's enough. And now finally we can add the beginning of the reflection. So I'm going to click on transform, shift space. I'm gonna click on mirror. There we go. And I'm just gonna do this, drag it down. Very cool. And with the previous reflection tutorial I did, I didn't really add the next part, which actually adds some really cool atmosphere and realism. So what we actually want to focus on is this mirror effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on nothing. I'm going to go shift space again, and I'm going to go to fast noise. This one over here, I'm going to add, and I'm going to connect it to mirrors. I'm going to zoom into the reflection so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the fast noise put the detail all the way up, put the contrast all the way up, and then put the scale all the way up. As you can see, we're immediately getting this fake rock effect. That's not exactly correct. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it towards the camera so it looks almost correct with it when it comes to perspective, because realistically the camera is kind of low. So these implied reflections or rocks or whatever in this water would kind of look more stretched. By the way, the brightness slider can be used to kind of spread the effect. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sh click on the fast noise, shift space, go to transform again, click on the same one. And by the way, now you can move around the fast noise. But the main thing I'm going to do is I want to uncheck this and I'm going to go to the X size and I'm just going to spread it. And if you zoom in, you can kind of see it gives that effect. It's flattened, so it kind of gives the effect of the camera being lower. So it adds to the realism of this effect. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit transform and I'm going to go show space again. I'm going to go to sharpen and I'm going to, I'm going to show you what sharp, the sharp effect does. Zoom in. As you can see, it really looks like these bits of dirt are in, is in the water and that adds to the overall atmosphere and realism of the shot. I'm going to go to the sharpen amount and I'm just going to go up. And as you can see, this allows you to further mess this is without it, by the way, and this is with a bit of sharpness. You don't want to overdo it because the moment you add even a bit, it adds all this extra detail. So let me show you. This is without, and this is with just a bit, but if you overdo it, you see it just loses detail. So I'm going to go just a little bit. It's like these small bits of debris. And if you zoom out, it kind of looks like this cool effect. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an overall soft glow to the shot. That's too much. And then I'm also going to go to the mask effect and I'm going to soften the edge a lot. Let me just click away. Let's look how this looks. 
That looks quite cool. Looks like he's looking down into, or I'm looking down into the reflection over here. And now the next thing, it really adds to the realism because as you can see, the camera's supposed to be focusing on me. As of now, they both look kind of in focus. So I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna go to soft glow, shift space, and I'm gonna go to tilt, shift blur. And as you can see, tilt shift blur basically gives you a plane of focus. And if you can see, um, now the reflection is in focus, but I'm out of focus. And if I move up, now I'm in focus and the reflection isn't, but that's a bit too much. So I'm gonna go to in focus range. I'm gonna move that up. And now you can see there's a nice transition of out of focus, a bit more in focus, a bit more in focus and in focus. And there you go, that's basically how you do the effect. I uh, hope you learned something from this video and yeah, I'll see you next month probably, I don't know.